didn't just do that. Hey guys, I'm Motonocity and welcome to the weekly Honda Ruckus build series where we're working on a stock Honda Ruckus and we're slamming it, we're stretching it, and we're doing a motor swap. Last week we worked on the front end, uh, finishing up some of the handlebar work, putting on the battery box, and then we moved on to the rear motor mount where we put on the shock mount and motor mount. Had a lot of problems, but we ended up getting it taken care of. And this week, we're gonna be prepping the motor for actually getting it mounted and hopefully actually getting it mounted onto the frame. If you're new to the channel or you're new to the series and you wanna check out some of the past parts or some of the future parts that will come out after this, you can check the playlist link down in the description below. But other than that, we can go ahead and get started, starting off with the short axle, which is gonna be the modification for the rear fatty wheel. All right, so here's the short axle that we're gonna be installing on here. Here's the uh, stock axle that we have in the GY6. We're gonna be taking off everything on this side, pushing this out, Installing this should be fun. If you're new here and you don't know this guy, this is Fry riding. Nothing works. Everything hurts. Fry, Fry is new to the uh, gym life, so he's he's hurting. If you, if you don't see him moving, that is why. Don't make me lift objects or move my arms. So all this stuff is going to be coming off. This section right here that covers up the uh, the gearing that's coming off. It's actually pretty simple. Um, one thing that you're gonna wanna make sure that you do is drain out the gear oil, which conveniently, I already did accidentally, uh, so I don't have to do that again. I don't know if this is gonna work. Nope. <laughs> There's a trick, we're just not knowing what it is. Why don't you just tell me this is gonna suck? Oh God, this is probably gonna suck. Oh no. Boom. We got it. Go teamwork. So here we have the uh, clutch that we took off of the GY6. It's, as you can kind of see, there's a, a gigantic spring on there that's holding tension on this. We're gonna be taking this off. Hopefully, no one gets hurt in the, uh, in the process. We're gonna be replacing it with this NCY Performance Racing Clutch. So, should be pretty awesome. We're gonna be putting that on right now. You need a big socket for this. Here's a little piece that you're gonna be taking off. This is a one and a half inch socket. Fits perfectly on there. This is dangerous. So I've watched a very uh, pleasant video from a nice British man on how to remove this. So there is, that's not, there we go. All right, so got my impact gun, got my one and a half inch socket. There is a massive spring underneath this. So you, what you're gonna wanna do Cup your business. <laughs> Put your feet on this, press it down. Okay, it's off. Look at that. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad, but it's like a free, it's, it's a very violent jack in the box. <laughs> All right, so there's the stock one, and we're gonna be putting on the new NCY one right here. And it's very beautiful green. I'm curious how we're gonna compress that spring now. Well, but if you weren't standing on that. As, as he mentioned in the video, Fry, you get on your knees. <laughs> oh, I like where this is going. <laughs> you get on your knees and uh, oh, there's like a, there's make... a flat edge on there. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just slide that under. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe we put, put this on here. It's good. Here, I got an idea. I'll press down, you screw. It's not going on straight. Hold Wait, on. make sure it's not. There it goes. Think. All right. All right. Make sure you go the correct direction. Yeah. Cool. That was easy. So we got that taken care of, but before we put this back on, we're gonna finish taking off everything else here. We gotta take off the kickstart because that's not gonna be reused. And then we have to take off uh, these two pieces right here, this fan and the uh, original variator, so. Something really strange. 
What's that? It smells like fart over here. My gosh. What did the new variator smell like? Christmas. Oh, it smells like Christmas. <laughs> Does it smell like It doesn't smell like Christmas, but it had. <laughs> there it is a smell. There is a smell. <laughs> All these little roller weights that you see here, we've got new ones that are going to be going in the new variator uh, that we got from Scooter Works. Holding the spring back, so watch your face. All right, so battery just died. I don't, I don't know, freaking this camera. Sometimes the battery dies so quickly that it doesn't have a chance to write the footage. Anyways, battery died, and I lost what we just did. We took out the kickstart mechanism, which uh, was this spring, and it held on all these uh, little gearing mechanisms here. Not too hard. You can just uh, grab the spring by this little piece right here. You can pry it off, and then uh, it just comes around, and then everything else just slides right out. Next up, we'll be putting in the uh, new variator. This is the old one, and then the new CVT cover that is all painted up. Flack Designs, if you missed out on the uh, painting videos, here is that cover, and that will be going on. Ooh, should I, should I see how it looks right now? Fry won't let me show it. Sorry, you gotta wait. So I just wanted to show this to you guys. Here is the uh, old variator right here. We'll put this into, yeah, ounces is fine. So that is just under 15 ounces. And this one is only 13. So we save about one and a half ounces. <laughs> and then we're gonna be putting in the uh, new roller weights. Gotta show this to you guys. It's got explosive acceleration, highest top end, extended gear ratio range, and most stable gear ratio. So it sounds like this is gonna be making the ruckus really fast. This one's backwards. There we go. Now they rolled over. Then you gotta put in this. There we go. Boom. That's ready to go in. Before I put this on without me paying attention. <laughs> no, no, we got, no, we don't put that on yet. No, I just wanna put it on for now. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? <laughs> oh, crap. Forgot to put the cover on. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse! <laughs> there, is a, there is a smell. There is a, there is, <laughs> what is that from? No, I got that from something. It sounds like allergy. We have uh, yeah, ran all of the these bolts that go with this ankle biter uh, CVT cover kit from the Ruck Shop. So this is the back plate and this is the front plate. So we have four holes on the front plate and then this has uh, four longer bolts and spacers. Oh yes, I do remember it now. Now that you're playing it, I do remember it actually being from Borat. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the actual seasons of the Ollie G show where he actually has the character Borat, you need to go watch those. Like if you've seen the movie and you like Borat, go watch the actual seasons because they're so much better. I make a smell. Should I say is me? No. There is a smell. Like I just, it smells like a sh. I woke up early on my birthday. I woke up early. Look at that. Dude. That looks sick. Yeah, if you guys missed the uh, the painting episode, Flack Designs, I'll have a link up in the top of the description of uh, his work. You can check out his Facebook page. He also did the fuel tank cover right here that'll be going on eventually. And then uh, a couple other pieces, the battery box that go around here. I'm, after seeing that, man, I'm so freaking excited. This is gonna look real good. This is not ready to get mounted yet. <laughs> nope. Torchies. Torchies. <laughs>
Abby went to a Christmas party uh, tonight. So Fry and I are playing fat kid and eating all the treats that she has. You smell popcorn? Oh my god. <laughs> you did it. No. You did it. Was it you, Lacey? Lacey would never do that. Did you fart? Jackson. What do you got there, buddy? Huh? You got a nice bone? So we got like three, I think, more things that we have to finish on the motor before we can get it mounted. We're gonna try to finish them up super quickly. Doubt it's gonna happen because there's a lot of little variables. We have to put on this little flange piece where the carb mounts, then we have to mount the carb, and then we have to uh, swap the stator. The new stator has to go on. And then I think the motor will be ready. This is the thing that we need to put on next. By the way, the Ruck Shop on their YouTube page and on their product pages, they have the videos linked. A lot of the stuff that you're gonna want installation videos on, they have it. You look like you're um, gonna go um, Olay. Olay. Olay dance? No. It's a lay. No, um, a lay. Bull, uh, bull, 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 bull clowning. <laughs> the clowns. You're about to go to Chewy's and play the guitar. <laughs> or that. What are the, the rodeo clowns? A matador. Yes. Uh, matador. Uh, there it is. She's like, Mom, why did you put why this did on you do me? This to me? Why did you do this? So cute. All right, so I went to the mailbox and uh, the rock shop sent me a package. Check it out. Gosh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> this is what happens when we get too tired to build. <laughs> and we eat torches. And we eat torches. You no! Know, stop! There is a smell. <laughs> it smells like sheep. <laughs> it smells like sheep. You didn't just do that. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Was that plastic or did you just <laughs> battle royale in here? <laughs> battle. <laughs> Are you okay over there, bro? <laughs> serious time. Serious time. So okay. we have to we have to take this black uh, spacer right here out. If that'll f there we go. Um, we also have to take these two studs out. And we are putting on this piece right here. So I gotta cut the plastic back just a little bit uh, so that this can fit down there. So what this flange does, and by the way, this comes with a fatty kit if you uh, get that from the ruck shop. It just allows this to sit a little bit more level. Just FYI, you should use red Loctite on all of these bolts. Um, I'm gonna go back and do that. I didn't do it when we put it on there the first time, um, but I will go back. All right, last thing on the list before we call it. The uh, new stator, the 11 pole stator swap that we're gonna be doing, here is the new one. This is going to be going in here. I'm going to be doing this real quick. Shouldn't take too long. So new stator is in, the motor is completely ready to go under the ruckus. We're gonna call it there. That's the episode for the week. Thank you, Fry. You're welcome. If we could bottle up the smells in this garage right now, <laughs> we could sell it. And mail it to you guys. The motor is completely ready. We're gonna be putting it on to the ruckus in the next episode. But thank you to the Ruck Shop. Thank you to Scooter Works. They're the ones who are sending all the parts out for this build. Thank you especially to Ryan and Kevin at the Ruck Shop. Uh, oh my gosh. Farting in my video.
I was gonna say, you're gonna fall out. Three, two, one. But truly, thank you, Ryan and Kevin. Y'all have been awesome. I've been asking them questions, and uh, they've been helping with me, or helping me with the build, just like at any hour of the day. So thank you. That's gonna be it, guys. Remember, these videos come out every Sunday. I also have videos on Wednesday and Friday. Hit that subscribe button if you uh, aren't subbed yet. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. I just realized we didn't put that fan on. That's kind of important. It looks like you're gonna be working on the CRF, but. <laughs> Last week we were going. Ah. All right, so here's. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'll be mounting that motor, all right? Something really strange. What's that? It smells like fart over here. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna itch when it dries. <laughs> I feel better now. I like it when that happens. <laughs> 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 Wait, what should I do? <laughs> oh, man.